How you doing, YouTube? Uh, my name's Chris. I'm here to show you some of my video game finds for this week. Uh, first off, was on Tuesday, I posted on a local page that if anybody had any uh, retro video games I was interested in buying, this guy got a hold of me, told me he had nine uh, Nintendo 64 games, and that he wanted to sell them all to me for $5. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, when I saw what he had, there was no question. I said, okay, definitely take care of that. I couldn't meet him right away because of work, my work schedule and whatnot. So I told him uh, I'd give him $10 if he could hold it until Saturday. He said, oh, that's, that's no issue. I uh, found out he was apparently a, a friend of my nephew, so it worked out even better. Uh, so these were the games that I got for $10. I got WWF Warzone. Uh, it's the only one that with a really bad label. Some of these had uh, looked like hot glue or something on it, but it came out pretty easy. Next was uh, WWF Attitude, as you can see. All these worked fine. I made sure I tested them all and played them. 1080 Snowboarding. Uh, it's actually a pretty fun game. Let's see here. Uh, Bugs Life, uh, another really interesting game. It's actually pretty fun. Star Wars Episode One Racer, one of the few Star Wars games, uh, racing games I actually really like. I thought it was pretty fun. Remember, it came out when I was working on Blockbuster. Uh, F1 World Grand Prix. It's not too bad of a racing game either. Graphics are pretty shoddy. These next three games is why I really bought it for. It's three games uh, I want to keep for myself. So the other ones I, I've already sold for uh, 10 bucks. So I, I got my money back and I got these for free basically. Yeah, uh, Mortal Kombat Mythologies, Sub Zero. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, horrible, horrible fun, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Uh, Earthworm Gem 3D. I don't know if you can see it or not. There you go. Looks Played pretty good. Uh, once again, horrible game. I was playing earlier, but I never played it before this. God, I need to get a better camera. And last but not least, uh, another really good reason to get it. Super Mario 64. And you can see it, it looks pretty damn good. You know, this game alone goes for 20 bucks in stores. So, I mean, it was a, a, a no problem for me getting it. <clears throat> another one uh, I got was on a uh, Virage, uh, Virage cell, the virtual garage cell. Uh, this woman had, it's right here, Rocket Knight Adventures. It is complete in box and actually looks really decent. I got that for five bucks. Uh, I've already sold it for 20, so I mean, that's really not a bad deal to me. And um, that, before I go into the big Nintendo haul I got, uh, I ordered two NES games from uh, two different Facebook sites. One was the original Legend of Zelda. I already got it in my protector, and as you can see, it's uh, really nice. I mean, it's in it's in really great shape. Came complete, had the map, the manual, the cart, had like no flaking of the gold whatsoever. And uh, I paid 70 for that, but uh, with this condition, I mean, it looks like the one I opened back in 1987 when I opened my copy for Christmas. So, I mean, it, it, uh, when I opened it again, it, it was that pristine. Uh, then I got this. Uh, a CIB Legend of Zelda 2 Link's Awakening. Once again, very nice. Uh, this, I actually, I, I don't have it to show on the pickup video, but I picked up a uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day from Goodwill for $3, believe it or not. Uh, with tax, it was $3.50. Uh, I ended up trading that for the Zelda 2, which is fine by me because I'm not a big fan of Conker's. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably find another one later. Uh, apparently, they're all over the place. <laughs> But, uh, I, Zelda, it's hard to come by, especially complete in box, and it's a really good copy. So anyway, so, uh, on Craigslist, this guy posted that he had a uh, pawn shop, and he came into possession of a whole bunch of old, uh, video games. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Master System, Sega CD, Dreamcast, uh, Nintendo, a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, he sold the box Nintendo, I actually said by the time I got there, which is fine by me, it wasn't a big deal. But he had like a completed box of uh, Mario 64, which he sold for $25. Uh, completed box of Gyro Might, which he was selling for $20. It's in very good shape, actually. And all these games are in great shape. Apparently, it was a uh, collector who had hundreds of games. Uh, he had like 20 totes full of games and systems. Uh, and when he died, apparently, about a week or two ago, <clears throat> his brother cleared out his house and brought them all to the pawn shop because he wanted to get rid of them all in one fell swoop and knew it was an easy way to do it. 
So all these are in really good shape, uh, which is why I got them. He had a Mega Man one there. He wanted uh, 35 or $38 for it, which is a good deal, but the label was kind of pulling off, and I figured if I'm going to pay that much money for Mega Man 1, I'm going to make sure I get a good copy and maybe have to pay 12 bucks more, but one with the label that was pristine. But these are the games I, I did get from there. And uh, I got 21 games, and it came up to $80. It's a, a bit, I'll admit, uh, but it's still about four dollars a game. Then. So it's it's pretty average, but uh, a lot of fun games here. But I picked up uh, Cobra Command, a uh, really fun game. I picked up uh, a game I haven't played, Defender Two. Uh, if you played it, tell me in the comments. It actually looks interesting. Uh, Dragon Power. I remember playing this back when I was a kid. Uh, Gumshoe, <laughs> one of the few Zapper games I actually remember playing besides Duck Hunt. Uh, Hydlide, another one I've, I've never played. Uh, it looks kind of interesting though, maybe RPG or something. Um, Karate Champ, I remember playing this game in the arcade, I believe it was, and uh, on the Nintendo. Uh, Daily East makes some really fun games. Uh, this is a five screw variant. Uh, I don't know if they made a three screw or if there's one more valuable than the other. If you know, uh, go ahead and comment below. Uh, this is a game I, I enjoyed quite a bit when I was a friend, uh, kid playing with, with my friend. Uh, Legendary Wings. A really good uh, overhead shooter type game. Uh, it's been made by Capcom. And it plays kind of like 1942 and 1943. Um, we got Load Runner, which I've never played. But it kind of looks like a uh, pitfall type ripoff. Try my me because I love pitfall. And we got a game which is, uh, my opinion, one of the best box cover art, whatever. Uh, Mighty Bomb Jack. <laughs> it just looks really, really fun to me. Uh, I don't ever remember playing it, but I love that cover art. And I mean, that's just ugh, it's interesting. <laughs> I know where to go from there. Uh, I got slow, Slalom, Slalom, I, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but, uh, looks boring. Uh, Snake Rattle and Roll. Got Solomon's Key, which was a pretty fun game, I remember playing this. I've got Spelunker, uh, which once again, kind of, oh, the label's coming up a bit, oh well. Kind of looks like a, uh, Pitfall type ripoff. You have the Scoose Turtles playing around back there. I got a Star Soldier. Uh, another game I've never heard of. If you know anything about it, let me know. It's made by Konami, so it's hopefully pretty good. It's called Stinger. Then we have a game, Target Renegade. I thought I had that, but apparently not. <laughs> uh, Track and Field 2. And I checked on my NES Collector app to make sure they have none of these. Uh, track and Field 2 is kind of, kind of funny. It's more common than Track and Field, but I've had Track and Field for a while, and I haven't came across a Track and Field 2. I was kind of shocked. Even though before I was collecting, I saw Track and Field 2 everywhere. Uh, we got Volleyball. One of my favorite games as a kid, actually. It's an LJN game. Uh, sorry, uh, angry video game nerd. Uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I thought it was a pretty fun game. Uh, stupidly hard and annoying and whatnot, but still. One of my favorite arcade games, uh, Wild Gun Man. I thought that was a great game. And then the last but not least would be Zanak. Uh, Zanak? Zanix? Uh, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Uh, once again, it looks like a type of shooter, maybe like FCI, so I'm not sure if that's going to be any good or not. Uh, but that is all for today. So, um... I just want to say thank you, and I will have more pickup videos. Uh, my goal is to collect every in, uh, Nintendo game ever made, uh, not ever made, uh, ever retailed release that were uh, American and they're officially licensed by Nintendo. So that cuts down quite a bit of the expensive one, like the uh, uh, Parnesian titles and the um, World uh, Championships or Zelda Test Cart, which go for thousands upon thousands of dollars. So until next time, uh, YouTube, uh, you have a good day, and just make sure you keep collecting. I mean, don't give up out there. There's good deals to be found everywhere.